How do you remember your grandfather, Emperor Haile Selassie? Well, I must say I have uh, memories going back from the time I was a very young child to the time I was 14. Of course, a lot of it I remember from a child's perspective, but uh, I remember the court. I remember the religious ceremonies and uh, the uh, attending functions with him. One of my earliest memories also is also the visit of President Tito and Her Majesty the Queen. And I also remember visiting different parts of Ethiopia with him. Of course, as a child, uh, our biggest memory is uh, visiting the animals in the palace and uh, also uh, Christmas celebrations and Easter celebrations. Emperor Haile Selassie and President of Yugoslavia Tito had a close relationship based on personal affinity and non-aligned movement. What could you tell us about that? Of course, they both came through World War II and as such shared that sense of history and uh, fight against fascism and uh, what had engulfed the world. And subsequently, they also uh, were leaders within the non-aligned movement. So uh, both uh, President Tito and His Majesty visited each other's countries. And I believe also that uh, President Tito was given a villa in Ethiopia, which subsequently became the embassy of Yugoslavia. But I think also, more importantly, the emperor's affinity to Serbia was, and Yugoslavia was the shared faith in orthodoxy. So I think that also was a big factor in, in the affinity that he shared for, for the country. As the president of the Crown Council of Ethiopia in exile, uh, how would you define your mission? I think uh, very importantly, the Ethiopian Crown has played a, a very major role in Ethiopia's history. And unfortunately, in the past, uh, there, there has been uh, an unbalanced uh, uh, commentary about its historical role and what it has really contributed to the society. So in our position, we try to redress and create a sense of balance where histor history shouldn't be totally revised to fit any victor, but that it should be balanced to uh, show both the positive and negative side. On the practical side, we've always sponsored scholarships, which is a, also a heritage that uh, Yugoslavia did for many Ethiopian students that um, sponsored uh, scholarships, especially in the technical field. We've had uh, scholarships here in the United States. And now we're work working on a water initiative. Uh, we believe that um, water is the building block for any civilization. And in Ethiopia, large percentage of the population don't have access to clean water. So this has been the biggest initiative now that we're focused on. What are your future plans? I want to live in Ethiopia. I think that's a, a very important part of what I would like to do. And um, I want to also participate uh, in building, in, in, the, in the rebuilding of Ethiopia, in Ethiopia's renaissance. I think everyone, every Ethiopian has a, a, an ability to contribute to Ethiopia's future development. And uh, we're no different. I think uh, every, we would be very happy to participate in that process. As did Prince Alexander of Serbia, who returned also to Belgrade. Extremely commendable. I mean, it's, it's somebody I look up to and admire. I think he has uh, sacrificed a great deal. And I understand he's also extremely active in the humanitarian uh, side of uh, his mission. So I think this is an example worthwhile following.